Thank you for joining me, this is Esther at Stamping Star Creations, here to show you a one sheet wonder, stamping all over an A4 sheet of card and chopping it up and showing you what I do with it. So starting with red, cherry cobbler and real red, and going in with pumpkin pie and mango melody. Some greens using old olive, and I actually swap out the granny apple green later, and some blues, light of navy and pacific point. And I start with the all things fabulous stamp set. So this stamp set has got lots of detailed stamps in it and you can do the three separate layers to build up to create uh, some really pretty 3D flowers. So I start by just doing couplets of designs across the page and spacing them out so that I've got the rest of the stamps to go on it. So my first colour was Cherry Cobbler and just coming in with Real Red to try and slot in the second stamp. Then I suddenly had an idea about using the pumpkin pie as the main flower colour and I was a little bit tentative, that's why I'm headed off into the corner starting that first and I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm just going to go for it and I used pumpkin pie with the real red and the cherry cobbler. So at this stage it does look a little bit strange but then when I come in with the mango melody next to it, it all seems to work out in the end. So I was pleased with the results. Sometimes you've just got to try a mixture of colours and go for it to see whether it will work or not. So doing a three generation stamping with the Mango Melody and just using that full uh, flower rather than having it too detailed. So I'm swapping out Granny Apple Green for Pear Bazaars as I felt that the pear pizzazz went better with the old olive shade that I plan to use later on. So this leaf here is from the Forever Fern stamp set and just using the foliage to fill some gaps and to just fill out those bouquets. Then here comes the old olive. As you can see the, the green goes a lot better with the pear pizzazz and doing second generation stamping just creates some shading onto your sheet and this stamp is from the All Things Fabulous stamp set. So next bring in blue and this completely changes the look of the paper and using that lovely cute grape kind of hanging uh, stamp, well I'm creating some kind of hanging shapes with that grape type stamp and again just not worrying about using the stems but just going to use that I can't help but call it a grape stamp I can't think of another word <laughs> and then using this trick that I got off my sister Ruth at Artful Stamping uh, she picks up the background stamps you roll it up in your hand and just tap it into the ink by doing this you've got a lot more control as to where the ink goes and you can I'm using it here to fill any gaps and it doesn't matter if it overlaps on the existing print, but it just gives you a lot more control and it gives you this kind of patchy look rather than having the full effect of a background stamp. And here's the results of all that stamping. I love the way it comes out. I love the colours and just the kind of uh, floral country vibe it has. So I'm not going to give you measurements because usually with these kind of projects, I just cut things up and use what I've got so I know that I wanted to cover a notebook with some of it have enough for a card on another and then I'm using another piece to cover these uh, tab post-it notes so just using the post-it notes as a guide and just creating a little uh, tab to sit over it and just gluing a piece to the back of it to create a cover for that And then I had a strip left which has looked a little bit too long for bookmarks. I'm chopping that down so I've got a bookmark and a tag and then these are the two pieces left over. I'm using the Statement of the Heart stamp which is a retired stamp but I like to use it um, for as a welcome project and as a hanging. So this is my new magnetic sheet and just showing you the layers that you need for your new cut and emboss and it's a self-healing mat so I hadn't used it long when I uh, did this video so you can position your die anywhere on it because the whole thing is magnetic 
and so you do one, two and five and then number three to sandwich. So it gets initially stuck on to that platform a little bit. It looks as if the cut is quite deep but this does heal over so don't panic too much. It is self-healing. I'm adding some sponging around the edges. It just needed a bit more detail so just going in with some Knight of Navy to finish off the look of this little hanging. And then using a little baggie that I had and I decided to create a decoration just to go on top using some more of this off cut of One Sheet Wonder. And even those that little bit I've cut off comes in later and I end up using that as well. So then I'm just scoring that in half and it just creates that lovely topper for the top of a bag and that just gets stapled on. I mounted the bookmark onto some Light of Navy and thread on some Light of Navy ribbon that comes from the Trio ribbon pack. And even that slither as well you'll see features in my card later. So it's just a bit too big to fit on the front of this card but I used the slither just to fit inside so I had to cut a bit off to make it fit on the front. And you don't need to cover it up too much, it's got all the lovely detail and print, so I'm just using the uh, Stitch So Sweetly as it dies and putting the monogram on the front of the card to personalise it. So there's the card with the tiny strip inside to complete the card. The bookmark, which again is mounted on Knight of Navy. There's a little tag, which I've just rounded off the corners. The hanging with the statement of the heart. What else have I managed? The um, a sort of flap for the post-it notes, the bag topper and the bookmark. Uh, sorry, the book, the notebook um, is all the things that I've managed to get out of that whole one sheet wonder. And then I've still got this piece left. So I didn't want that to go to waste. So I'm using it to cover just a couple of small pegs and I'm just going to accent them with some bows to complete the look of the pegs. So I've hoped that this has inspired you to go and make your own one sheet wonder and go and get stamping and just chop it up. It's amazing what happens when you chop it up and how many little projects you can get out of all those stamped images. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not a subscriber already, please might I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the bell and click all for the notifications, you can catch my lives as well as all my videos. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much. Do comment below. Let me know your thoughts on today's one sheet wonder and my project and just getting a little bit fiddly sticking this down but I manage with a bit of Tombow glue and then using glue dots to stick on the bows so thanks once again take care and hopefully I'll catch you again very soon thanks bye